Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? Welcome, welcome to the Men of Impact podcast with your boy, LAC. I'm happy you're here with me. Real quick, I saw this video, came out about a couple months ago, about a lady who decided, hey, yo, I don't want you to take me to Cheesecake Factory on our first date because it's a chain restaurant. She threw up this whole tantrum, would not let the guy open the door for her, and was recording the guy, why being very entitled so we're gonna look at this video and we're gonna break it down and go through it this is the cheesecake factory y'all what's the problem with that this is a chain restaurant who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant you want to talk about it i'm i'm fine with talking about uh -huh. it even in front of them oh sure. yeah i want to talk about it yeah come okay. on get up on in the car yeah we're gonna talk about it Oh, okay. 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 So, so, yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted. So mm. you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. And, That's what and you're supposed I, to do. I agree. Not I, I went into factory. this date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself, to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, to pay for, for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty nice, then, but I mean, and then, cheesecake factor. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with mm -hmm. on the first date. I expect her to be respectful, too. I expect her sorry, to be sorry. cooperative. Mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know. Uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't... Uh, Put your hand around my arm or anything like that or hold my hand or anything like that i mean it's too early for that okay i yeah. don't know and you i yet. can respect that okay. i can respect that okay. when uh i got to your apartment to pick you up uh you didn't want to invite me in i can respect that too Just, we're not again i don't we're know not there. yet okay I don't know yet. and then but i, I mean, mean i feel like i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do as a woman but, I, I mean, got myself all made nothing up. nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at... I mean... Look at my planner, where we were going to go originally. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call see, him. Call him. No. What do you mean, no? See, I, I know, specifically I told you, both yesterday and this morning, that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m., Right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs I understand. for an hour. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying. What? You had this gentleman waiting outside your house for one hour hour and the audacity of yourself was to open your mouth and say i understand i didn't expect work to take so long and you know we don't know each other so i couldn't invite you up shut your mouth that's very disrespectful and that's entitled what you did there was treat this man as though he had no dignity and you showed him no respect when you are late, you communicate. 
hey, I apologize. It's taking a little bit longer. Do you mind if we reschedule? Or maybe we can look at something else later on today, but I'm really tied up at work. That's what a mature person do. That's what they do. They don't keep you waiting for an hour and then act like this. I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship to you know, meet uh, at your apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a huh? nice fancy uh, restaurant as Aria. Especially if I'm paying for the whole thing. Which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been. Okay. But if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice. Wait, I mean, it wasn't that late. I mean, we literally on, left wait. your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. Oh, okay. And I specifically well, said four I'm because sorry. maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. One thing I like about this guy is his voice, his tone. He hasn't inflected his tone. He is very, very respectful. He's speaking to her, looking at her. And the thing is, this is not a kind of conversation that you should be recording. And you're seeing her attitude and you're seeing who she is as an individual because she has it, has it been recorded. Why are you recording this? Who are you going to show? You made yourself look bad. I hope. When this came out, I thought to myself, I hope this is staged. I hope this is fake. I hope this is one of those things where people are doing it for clicks and this is not real because if it's real, you made yourself look like a fool, lady. You really did. And I respect this guy, the way he's handling himself, the way he's trying to speak to her. And she's basically acting as though, you know, he he, 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 he should be okay with being treated the way she treated him. Let's continue. Paying for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations oh, for no. death. I can tell it's not going to be there. I, and maybe we're not right for each other. So, respectfully, I'm oh, going to no, just drop didn't. you off at home. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm So, you just want to call it a night? I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, what, what do you mean, some kind of compromise? Do you understand that you did not try to meet this man in the middle at all? You had him waiting for you. For one hour, you guys then go to the Cheesecake Factory because like a respectful man and a man who understands when things don't go as planned, he had a backup plan, which was the Cheesecake Factory. You allowed this to happen. You, young lady, were the reason why you couldn't go to the five-star, eight-star, 20-star, 100-star restaurant and get to show yourself and say, look at me. Yes, this man took me to a really nice restaurant. You were the cause of that. This man was prepared. He came at four. You didn't show up. And you didn't text him. You didn't communicate with him. You just had him wait for an hour. And he was willing to wait. I know for me, I ain't waiting for you for no hour. If you don't show me the respect to talk to me, honey, I am gone. I did left. Pack me bags. I don't evaporate your presence. I will not be there. I will not stay. Why would I stay in a place that you cannot respect me? And not only that, now you're acting like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's about to leave. Are you taking me back home? Why are you taking me back home? Honey, you show clearly that you don't want to be on this date. The guy tried to open your door. You said, shut my door. I ain't going to no Cheesecake Factory. I'll die if I go in there. How entitled are you, young lady? I don't know what other men you've been with, but this guy looks like a, he seems like a really nice guy who is respectful, has not lifted his voice, has not called you out from your name. He's letting you finish and speak. But yet again, you're acting like he owes you a four or $500 date. When in reality, he was going to give that to you. And he said, I'm still willing to pay even for the Cheesecake Factory. But the reason we couldn't even get to that other restaurant is because you were late. And now you don't want him to, to leave. You're like, what's the compromise? There ain't no compromise. The compromise was for you to actually get out the car, humble yourself, and go have a good time. Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. 
out the parking space. I, I, if I don't feel Can respected, I, I am mean, not going to go through I mean, with the rest come of the on. day. Well, I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. Yeah, I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean... I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them, and you've broken everyone. Oh so my god. I'm sorry. We're dropping you off. All right, whatever. <laughs> Listen, shout out to the gentleman. Shout out to that man. I clap for you, brother. Put your foot down. Let it know what is it, what it is, and you go forward, brother. I respect you as a brother. I respect you as a man for putting your foot down and for standing up for what you believe is right. And like he said, he didn't feel respected, and she definitely did not respect him. And then how are you going to act surprised when a brother says, okay, I'm going to go drop you back home. You don't look like you want to be with me. You don't look like you want to spend time with me. You're not interested in getting to know me because is it about the food or is it about the person? I know some of us, we go on dates. Some of y'all, y'all go on dates for the food. You don't really care about getting to know the person. So if it's not about the person, then I'm not going to waste my time. And I respect that guy. He never raised his voice. He never called out, called her out of her name. He was respectful. Let me know in the comments if you think he was respectful. I think he was respectful. And to you, young lady, if this was not staged and this was real, I hope that you have changed your perspective and some way, somehow, you've allowed God to work in your heart because you will never get the opportunity to, to get to know somebody if you go masquerading yourself like you the it factor and anybody that comes to you must bow down and kiss your toes and the ground that you walk on. You are not that special. And trust me, the world does not revolve around you. So if you want to be able to have a relationship where it's mutual and you guys grow together and love each other, humble yourself. And don't act like you can't do no wrong. It was when the guy decided to turn around that she says, I'm sorry about being late. If a woman is going to say, I'm sorry at the very end and they don't realize what they did in the first place, Red flag. That's a red flag. That should let you know that that woman doesn't know how to communicate and has no emotional maturity or cognitive dissonance to know, hey, I messed up. Let me apologize. Shout out to that man. Wherever you are, I hope this was, was staged because I hope it was staged. But if it wasn't, shout out to you, man. You know, And uh, to all men out there, know your worth. Don't allow anybody to walk over you. You understand? Know your worth and do not allow anyone to walk over you. All right. It's you already know what it is. It's your boy. I'll see you soon. Deuce.